Hi everybody, how's it going? Um, I want to give you guys a little uh, rundown on an online graphing calculator today. Um, part of your assignment is to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. Now we'll go over just mathematically how we're going to do that uh, tomorrow. You guys should have a rough idea for some of these things, although some of the fractions in the front might uh, be throwing you off. So I'm going to go over these. I'm going to go over these four questions: one, two, uh, three and four, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do them in Desmos. And if you wanna give a couple of these a try, you're more than welcome to do them. If not, I'm gonna go over how to do the math part of it. But I find that graphing is a very handy thing for a lot of people. Now, um, I know in class we use, um, a, you know, a proper graphing calculator. If you would like um, a copy of this, uh, just email me, I'll send it to you. Um, I can kind of walk you through how to do it. Uh, unfortunately, if you have an iPad, it won't work. If you have a old Android phone or Android device lying in a drawer somewhere, charge it up because you can get it for Android and it's a pretty straightforward tool. If not, for a lot of you guys, the best option is going to be desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S.com. Um, there's also apps for, you know, the iPhone, the iPad, and stuff like that. Um, and it is a much more user-friendly interface. It's much more straightforward. So for a lot of you guys, especially if you have physical limitations, this is going to be for you, okay? Um, so once you got here, we just want to start graphing. Now, before we begin, I really strongly suggest you take a second to go ahead and make this graph look like a 10 by 10 grid. So if you notice, first of all, it's counting by twos. It goes two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Um, and also it goes from, a, I don't know, like negative 9 to 10. It's, it's a little bit off skewed, and you can move it around. You can click and drag it with your mouse. Before we get started today, I would really like you guys to take a couple seconds and put it as a 10 by 10 grid, because that's how I'm going to be working, and that's frankly how all the questions are. They're all in 10 by 10s, okay? So um, the first thing you can do is uh, up here, you should have a little wrench somewhere that says graph settings. So to press graph settings. Okay. Um, first of all, we're not going to touch any of this. We want to remove the minor grid line, so we're going to uncheck the minor grid line. So if you notice now they disappeared. So now they're on, and now they're off. So remove those. And now it's just the two boxes. There's no fractions in between. We want our x-axis, okay? These are your boundaries. This is your lower boundary to your upper boundary, and this is how many spots are between them. So we want our x-axis to go from negative 10 to positive 10, and we want the step to be 1, okay? Our y-axis, again, we want to be from negative 10 to positive 10, and we also want our step to be 1, okay? So now, very nicely, we have a 10 by 10 graph uh, that we can work with, okay? So all I'm going to ask you to do today is go ahead and graph a function, um, and it's going to ask you to graph two points, and it's pretty much going to do a lot of the work for you, okay? So our first one is f of x, f of x is equal to 8x squared. Okay, now, I'm pretty good at typing in math. I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you guys have a keyboard on the screen. So first of all, if there is no keyboard on your screen, right here, down here, press the keyboard, okay? So what are we going to say? Um, f of x, okay? Um, you can use y if you'd like, or you can go ahead and you can type it in. So we're going to say f, uh, we go parentheses, f of x, okay, is equal to, and then we just want to type in our uh, function, 8x, and um, right here, this is the squared button. So this is the squared, 8x squared. So that is our function. What you're looking for, essentially, is the vertex, which is right here, and another point on the graph that it goes through. So right here, it goes through this point right here. And if you're really careful, you can kind of slide this along with it, and you'll see that it does go through the point uh, 1, 8. Okay? Um, there are other points it goes through. Now, again, remember from our form yesterday, right, we had... Um, Right, if we said uh, f of x, and what was our general form? A x minus h squared plus k. 
Well, if you notice, if for this first example, nothing is subtracting, nothing is added, right? Uh, nothing is subtracting, nothing is added, so our first point should be at the origin. Then, honestly, uh, as long as there's nothing else added, this is essentially going to tell you, let's go up eight spots, let's go over one, okay? But that doesn't always work out that way. Um, but we'll talk about those patterns and everything tomorrow. Today, if you guys just graph it on here, I'm fine with that, okay? Um, our second example, so I'm going to, if you want to, I'm going to leave that here, but I'm going to make it disappear. So I'm going to add a second function, okay? And this time, just for the sake of it, let's call it g of x. g of x, okay? g of x equals, okay, and I'm going to give you a more complicated one this time. It's going to be negative 3. By the way, the negative and the minus button are the same. They will know the difference. Negative 3x plus 2 squared minus 2, okay? So there is our graph. Again, let's take a look. First of all, it's negative, so we see it flips down this time. And we see positive 2 on the inside, negative 2 on the outside. So if you remember from yesterday, uh, the this right here and this right here, your vertex, but we have to flip the sign of anything on the inside, right? So our vertex should be, again, flip the sign, not positive 2, negative 2, negative 2, which it is. Our vertex is negative 2, negative 2. And from there, it flips down, and we have a 3 in front, so we're going to say go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, okay? But again, today, if you want to, you just kind of scroll this until you get a point um, right there, like negative 1, negative 5, okay? All right, the next two um, are going to be a little bit uh, more advanced because they're going to involve fractions. It's no big deal. Uh, let's call this one uh, h of x. So again, we'll say h of x, h is a function of x, is going to equal, uh, it's going to be a fraction this time, uh, 3 over 4. Okay. Notice now we want to get alpha underneath this fraction. Click uh, outside of it, um, or you can press the over button. So if you were here, you can move over. Um, so if you aren't using the keyboard or a mouse. And what are we putting inside? Uh, it's going to be x minus 1 squared on the inside, x minus one squared, uh, and they're going to want a minus five on the outside, minus five on the outside, okay? So again, this one uh, a little more complicated because that fraction thumb, but remember, we're reversing this one and keeping this one as it is, so our vertex should be at positive one, negative five, which it is. And now we're looking for another point on this graph, and it looks like it's going to be, does it go past that one? 3, negative 2. Okay, so again, 3, negative 2 looks like the next point on the graph, okay? And we'll talk about tomorrow how we're going to find that. That's a little more complicated than using the fraction. For today, like I said, if you can graph these and just kind of get a feel for Desmos, I'm really okay with that. H of x, I would be next, but we don't use i for functions, so it's a j of x, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, I should do that using i. I don't you guys are using iPads. So we're going to say j x okay by the way if you're really having a hard time with this you can put y for any of them j of x equal to one third so again one divided by three notice i'm still on the bottom of the fraction let's get out of there let's press the over button one third parentheses x minus four squared and that's all they wanted okay so again, it's going to move four to the right, but none up and down. So there is our next point right there. Um, and the next point that looks like it goes through squarely is going to be this one. Is going to be seven three, right? and there it is right there, seven three. Okay. So again, that's all it's going to ask you to do on your work today is graph the vertex and graph the point. Now you guys should be able to find the vertex. It's that second point that Desmos might come in handy for. Um, for a lot of you guys, being that we're not in school, we don't have access to a lot of things we normally do. Um, this should be a, a good alternative for now. Like I said, if you want the proper calculator, I can gladly give you the proper calculator. Uh, and then I can make a video showing you guys how to do that. So it's no big deal. All right. So uh, anyway, like I said, if you want to just take a look at this today and that's it, that's fine. Tomorrow we'll talk about how you can do the problems online. 
Um, but if you want to, you can get a head start on them. Like I said, you should be able to get the vertex and another point from the graph uh, from them. Okay. So I hope this helped and I hope it gives you good guidance. I hope you guys are all safe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.